disaster has struck. Life is too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. Something terrible happened to me today. Absolutely fucking terrible. I was in Morrison's. I saw some beer. All the craft beer they had and they got a really good selection in Morrison's. And I thought I would get some. And little did I know what was going to happen when I got in. Picked up a can of this, thought, great, milk stout, can't go wrong. Then I looked on the side of the can, alcohol free, 0.5%. And I've done this before, do you know what? I can count on three, on three fingers the amount of times I have bought non-alcoholic beer. First one was the Erdinger non-alcoholic. That was shit. Um, second time... Was, well, that that was the second time. The first time was the... Uh, do you remember the stuff you used to get in the 80s? Calibre. Oh, fucking absolutely disgusting stuff. And this is the third time. The sneaky bastards, they, um, they've nestled this all among the um, Northern Monk stuff and the Brewdog stuff and all the, the other good canned craft beer that they've got in there at the moment. And I picked it up. And now I'm stuck with it. So if I'm stuck with it, I'm going to review it. Now it talks a good fight, and it's you know it's it's brewed in the same way. It's just you know it's got the hops in there. It's got the cocoa nibs, etc. It's got lactose in it as well, um, but it's got no alcohol. Now to me that is the whole point of drinking beer. But I'm not going to pass judgment. I'm just going to drink this and review it and score it on its own merits. So, I'm going to shut up. Well, hey, before I do, I should say a little bit about the Big Drop Brewing Company. Now, the thing is, what annoys me is if I'd done my research and I'd looked up this Big Drop Brewing Company, I'd know that they only sell alcohol-free beer, or they only brew alcohol-free beer. And uh, I wouldn't have bought it. But I've bought it, so let's review it. This is a 330 30ml can. The ABV, 0.5. Forget the notion this this is a beer style that is at its day instead. This, think of it as a honeycomb covered in chocolate. Well, to me, that sounds immediately like a crunchy bar. That's what I'm expecting, because that's exactly what it tastes like. Rich, unctuous, and absolutely decadent treat of a beer. Store and enjoy chilled. Now this is chilled, bordering on cold. Yeah, and that's it, uh, the ingredients. Water, barley, lactose, which is, you know, that is the milk, uh, sugar from the milk, um, oats, rye, and hops, and yeast. Oats and rye should give it a nice mouthfeel. I must say, I did try the breakfast out from, I think it's Siren, and that was absolutely amazing stuff. So, maybe I can put that behind me about the uh, the lack of alcohol I've dropped this a couple of times and it's dented so if this goes everywhere and I lose some it won't be the worst thing in the world anyway let's get it open and let's see what's going on and it didn't go everywhere which is always a bonus right well, I can smell coffee from here. And it, it does say it contains cocoa nibs, which are basically, the, they're like the, the, the coffee beans crushed up. What are we getting? It's a cross between very, very dark chocolate, coffee, and some vanilla. I'm getting vanilla in that as well. 
smells very sweet. But there's, there's like a little earthy tone to it as well. Or is that just very, very bitter chocolate? I don't know. Let's get it into the glass. I have to say, it does look good. There you go. Very, very, well, that is black. You cannot see through that, which is what I would expect from a, a decent stout. Um, it has got a beige head on that, big bubbles on that head, which is dissipating quite quickly. Um, on the nose, out of the glass. There's a lot of coffee on this. Coffee and a touch of dark chocolate. It smells very dark and very bitter. Let's get it down the hatch and let's see what's going on with this non-alcoholic milk stout. Do you know what I'm getting from that? Cigarette ash. That's what it tastes like. It's so bitter. And coffee. Well, it does contain coffee beans, cocoa nibs. So it's probably that. Cocoa nibs are the beans that are crushed up and give off a really intense flavour, bitter flavour. And this is bitter. And it does. It tastes like cigarette ash. Mmm, I don't think I like it. They say it's full bodied, but it's not. I wouldn't know there's lactose in there either. Now, I must admit, I'm not a big fan of coffee. But this is <clears throat> this is like an espresso. It's that bitter. But if you can imagine that bitterness, and <clears throat> I know it sounds stupid, but it tastes of cigarette ash to me. And believe me, don't ask me how, but I have tasted the contents of an ashtray. Drunken night, I'll never forget. And it involved the ashtray. Don't ask, I'm not going into details, but I have tasted cigarette ash. Yeah, it wasn't good, it wasn't pleasant. To be honest, neither is this. Um, <clears throat> okay, let's look at the positives. It's very bitter, like a stout should be. And a lot of people like that very, very bitter flavour on a stout. Um, I do too, to be fair. This has got a very... With with the lactose, and like the siren breakfast there, which contained lactose, the, the mouthfeel was amazing. The body on this is very, very weak. Really weak. It's like watery almost, even with that bitterness as well. And uh, it's just, it's just too bitter. But I could handle it if the if the body of it was there, but it, it's very sort of weak bodied as well. Doesn't smell great either. Mm -hmm. and there's nothing there, there's just coffee bitterness. You might as well drink, literally, a very, very cold espresso. You're probably going to get the same. Now, when I read this, I thought I'd review it and I'll give it to the missus because if it's honeycomb, and chocolate it's going to be like a crunchy that's what i was expecting very sweet very very um the, with the lactose sort of you know very smooth and with a lot of body 
it hasn't got either. It's very, it's, to me it's, it seems very watery, like a, it, it's basically a cold espresso. That's what it reminds me of. And if you can imagine an espresso poured into a, a 440ml glass and water added to top it up, that's what it tastes like. And as I say, I'm not a fan of coffee. And the body on this just is virtually non-existent. So what's the verdict? Well, this is the first non-alcoholic beer review on the channel. Bought by mistake. I will not be making that mistake again. I will say the last time I bought a, a non-alcoholic beer by mistake was in 2016. I was living in... Um, living in Essex in a place called Bucker still what a fucking hellhole that place was never again honestly I could do a whole fucking episode dedicated to that place oh. anyway enough about that um, yeah I won't be making that mistake again I will be checking out the ABV before I buy every beer now um, this stuff nah don't bother if you're a, if you're a big fan of like imperial stouts and then super harsh bitter you know, dark chocolate coffee stouts, and you're driving, or you you just off the beer for a while or whatever, then you might like that. But for me, this is going to get a a two out of ten, and I'm, I'm being slightly generous there, two out of ten. And as I say, unless you're, you know, you're a big big fan of them imperial stouts, the bitter imperial stouts, and <clears throat> you know you're driving, or you you're out with mates, or you just you just want to lay off the beer for a while then you might like this, but fuck that. I am not getting any more of this shit ever again. And remember, I'm not drinking this shit, so you don't have to.